The new fall season for television is here, and it's no different at TV Kojiko. Tonight, the Niagara Falls studio held its launch party. Uh, it's, it's a community challenge, it's a community effort. It's, uh, it's our fall launch. Let's, let's do it right, and uh, uh, we were kind of planning it, and we thought, well, you know, why not go live as well? Let's get the, the people that make our, our programming possible here, and, but on camera so they can talk to the folks at home. So we are going to go live tonight uh, for an hour, uh, introduce some of our producers, uh, let them talk about uh, their series and what they've got planned for the upcoming season. And as a special bonus, we got uh, one of uh, Niagara's greatest bands, or hottest bands, the Mad Hatters, will be playing for us tonight as well. TV Kojiko shows scheduled to return this season include Let's Talk About It, Taking Niagara by Storm, OHL Tonight, and Kiwanis TV Bingo. Something like this we couldn't run at all if it wasn't for Kojiko TV. It was, it, that's, that's, the, that's the media we have to run it through, which is fantastic. And they've, in Niagara Falls has been fantastic too. They've really helped us out, yeah. Uh, we raised roughly uh, between three hundred dollars and $400,000 a year. Uh, for St. Catharines, for example, we've been able to do the Aquatic Center, we've been able to do the Kiwanis uh, Fields, we've been do, able to do the uh, four pad. We do a lot of scholarships uh, in, in, in St. Catharines. In Niagara Falls, they do the Boys and Girls Club. They have a, a whole host of, volunteer, uh, of various different activities they do in St. Niagara Falls, as well as well on the same thing. They do a lot of uh, scholarship funding and stuff like that. And what's new coming up on Taking Niagara by Storm this, this year? We've got uh, lined up, we've got lots of police news. Um, we're looking at some murder investigations. We're looking at uh, organized crime once again. Uh, and I'm looking also at things like what's happening to the downtowns of Niagara. And I'm looking at people who are hurting in agriculture. Yes, people who uh, very soon will be taping a show about what's happening in a very unfortunate way to that's, children that's in Niagara. Um, it's a, a lot of work, actually a lot more work than I thought it would be, but by the same token, it's a lot of fun. We've met a tremendous uh, group of people and learned a lot, and it's been really interesting. Sort of, uh, How would you describe your show? It's a half-hour talk show format. Uh, there's three co-hosts, usually one or two guests, and I always tell people, you don't have to be nervous because we're just having a conversation over coffee in my living room. It's a, it's a great um, show that they put on each and every game. How valuable has the relationship been? Oh, it's, uh, it's absolutely critical to our fans. Um, you know, not everyone can come to the game, uh, so it's important for us to have that, uh, that TV broadcast so that uh, even they can watch at home, uh, you know, they can still watch. Um, and, you know, on the odd chance, maybe they'll come to a game because they've watched on Kojiko. You've just met some of the volunteer producers, but it takes an even bigger team behind the scenes to put Kojiko programs into your home. They, they do everything. They do the camera work, they do uh, the directing, the graphics, they do the, the on-air work. Um, you know, the folks here tonight do their own shows, they book their own guests. Um, it's, a, you know, it's community programming, both in front of and behind the camera, because they, they are what drive this channel. As you can see, TV Kojigo doesn't exist without the support of the community. But there's a role here for you as well, whether it's volunteering on-air, behind the scenes, or simply by tuning in to watch TV Kojigo. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mark Jofie.